Following on from subtraction using number lines, children are taught subtraction using partitioning. Initially, the children will be taught using examples where they do not need to exchange. For example, when solving the calculation 79 take 45, they would first write the calculation out as below. The 79 is then partitioned into the tens so that seven tens are equal to 70 and nine units are equal to nine. The 45 is partitioned into four tens which are 40 which are written below the seven tens 70 and the five units are written as five below the nine units. As these two are equal, we add our equal sign and we are still doing a subtraction. We then start with the least significant digits. Start by saying nine take five is equal to four. And then we do the tens so that 70 take 40 is equal to 30. We then add back the two partitions so that 30 plus four is equal to 34. Therefore, 79 take 45 is equal to 34. Following on from this, children will begin to exchange. So for example, with the question 71 take 46, they would first write this out as below. They then still partition the 71 into the seven tens, which are 70, and the one unit, which is one. The 46 is also partitioned into the four tens, which are 40, and the six units, which are six, written below the one unit. These two are both equal, so we add our equal sign, and we are still doing a subtraction calculation. We then start off with the least significant digits and we start by saying one take away six. Children should realize that this would lead to a negative number so we would therefore have to borrow from the tens. The 70 would be reduced by 110 to be equal to 60 and then the 110 is carried to the units so that the 1 now becomes 11. We can now do 11 take away 6 which equals 5 and then the tens would be 60 take away 40 is equal to 20. These two separate partitions are then combined again by adding back so that 20 plus 5 is equal to 25. Therefore the question 71 take 46 is equal to 25. With the question 436 take away 79, we first partition the 436 into the four 100s which are 400, the three tens which are 30, and the six units, which are six. Then the 79 is partitioned into the seven tens, which are 70. These are written below the three tens, which are 30. And then the nine units are written below the six units. These two are both equal, so we add our equal sign and we are still doing a subtraction calculation. We then start off with the least significant digits, starting with 6 take away 9. As this subtraction would lead to a negative number, we borrow from the tens. So the 30 is reduced by 110 to become 20. And the 110 is then added to the units, so the 6 becomes 16. We now do 16 take away 9, which gives us 7. We then move on to the tens column and do 20, take away 70. Once again, this would lead us to a negative number, so we borrow from the hundreds column. The 400 is reduced by 100 
to become 300 and the 100 is then added in front of the tens so that we have 120. We now can do 120 take away 70 which gives us 50. Move on to the hundreds column and have 300 take away 0 which gives us 300. The separate partitions are added back together so that 300 plus 50 is 350 plus the 7 gives us 357. Therefore, 436 take away 79 is equal to 357.